so here we are again in the uh, Oculus Quest home screen and I'm on the browser as you can see the tabs are open and we've got the URL there and I'll put that in the uh, link description but we're into VR and uh, in a previous video we saw how to describe some images and photos with the images on the back wall there but we're going to jump now into um, some other uh, features of this environment and it's the 360 panoramas to start off with um, let's select maybe the one at the back here which looks like some mountains yes uh, we are in Switzerland the Swiss Alps and you could get your students just looking around here uh, talking in real time all together about what they see some of the colors maybe the sights uh, the sounds for example that one might hear when immersed in this environment in real life in the physical world but for the moment we're going to jump back out of that and we're going to make our way over to the graffiti wall as they call it here and you can choose your colors obviously as you can do with most spray cans and I'm going to make my way over to the left here and just put some of the key grammar that might have come out from uh, the uh, from the talk that maybe you have with your students. So let's just imagine that a student has made a mistake. So they say, we go to the Alps. And this is, you know, a typical mistake that a student might, mis uh, might make when talking English. Obviously, we do not say goads, do we? So as a teacher, you can change the color. You can cross out the word goad and put went to the Alps. So we went to the Alps just to make that correction there for them. And you can explain why, uh, because obviously it's a specific time in the past. And you can give them a green tick for the capitalization of the letter uh, A, because it's the concrete noun, the name of a specific place, Alps. Maybe we could then, for example, make our way over to the right side of the wall, change the color to yellow and uh, focus the attention on the specific grammar point. So for example, we've got go, today I go, we've got went, like the past simple, yesterday I went, last Monday I went, and then we've got gone. More generally, I have gone to the Alps. So we can see there the nice corrections, the student has been involved because they're writing on the wall, which is getting them thinking a bit more deeply about what they're saying. And you can focus again, their attention on the mistakes and corrections and new grammar. We jump back into the scene now and you might want to draw their attention to not the specifically the grammar but the vocabulary so you could talk about the sky there's some cloud cover maybe there's a crisp air for example when you could write that word crisp on the wall um, we're going to choose for example uh, the color yep so we'll continue with the color yellow for example we've got crisp maybe yellow for new words and grammar and for example red for what they do so we've got snow capped mountains as well and this is a term that maybe the student didn't know but you're putting it down there on the wall just to draw their attention so color coordination as well for maybe feedback corrections grammar and vocabulary points with the red being what the student said and that's just a quick flavor of how you could use the graffiti wall and the 360 panoramas in the hubs environment